Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula and I am here today to go over um, a budget with me for my second paycheck for the month of July. Y'all, it has been, it's been a week. I think it's been a completely like seven days since I posted last week was out of this world crazy. Y'all, I, I, I was thinking about y'all. I was like, I gotta film, I've gotta do a recording, I've gotta do something. Every time I got ready to do it, something else came up, y'all. It was just crazy this past week. But I am back to do a budget with me. If you are a first-time viewer, I want to say hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this channel is all about budgeting, savings. Um, we're getting ready to purchase a, our, our first home. Um, we are um, living with my sister. I'm a mom of three. And so we are um, here just talking about life. We're talking about budgeting. We're talking about savings. We're talking about ways to save um, and some cash stuffing. We'll be doing some cash stuffing on this channel. But yeah, if you are a returning re um, subscriber of your, thank you so much for taking out the time to check on me today because I know I've been like MIA, right? I've been out of pocket. But one thing about it, I have been watching videos, y'all. I've been trying to, if I haven't been able to um, do a filming, I've really been trying to watch videos, comment on you guys' channel, and I've gotten a lot of replies back. So I want to say thank you. I also want to say, guys, I'm almost at 200 subscribers. Yay, me. Yay, 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 yay. I think, thank you guys so much. Um, even though I've been out of pocket and not filming in about a, uh, for about a week now, I've gotten some new subscribers. So I want to say thank you guys for choosing me or selecting my channel. I appreciate it. My goal is to get to um, 1,000 subscribers and more um, in this channel because this is one of the um hopefully opportunities i can get to do and use as a, a side hustle i apologize if the camera is shaking y'all story before we get in right and I'm, i know i'm moving the camera some but um y'all this is my third uh what is it like iphone holder to sit everything in so i can do my filming three this is my third one uh <laughs> my first one my son broke my second one my sister broke i'm like seriously guys come on i should be charging you guys um but yeah it is so that's not like the only reason why i haven't had time to film this past week but i went out today purchased what i needed to purchase and so we are here um so we're gonna go right into it uh but before we do i want to say that we are starting an another week um with the bcl community um i will show y'all my sticky i, I know y'all you um viewers who are used to my channel are used to my also used to my handwriting so the one two three four youtubers that we are supporting this week is save with alicia alicia is one of the first youtube youtubers that i subscribed to when i first got started i think february of this year She's awesome. Like she's great. Um, the main, the one of the main things I like about Alicia is that she gives awesome tips. Like she'll comment on a video that I've done, and she'll give me some tips. She'll give me some advice, and she'll even share like her experience. And I appreciate that. She really is down to earth, and I like her Friday night game night. I know everybody um, has been talking about that, um, but yeah, she she is awesome. I like the fact that. To me, I feel like, save with Alicia, Alicia, um, for her Friday night game night, it's not like she has, like, a whole lot of money. It's only, like, dollar bills, I believe. And she plays this game, and she stuffs her envelopes. I'm telling you, I've been watching since February, and she's come such a long way. So she is an inspiration to me. Um, you know, when, when you put a little bit aside and let it sit and just let it build and build and build, you will be able to accomplish your goal, right? So she is awesome. And the other three are new to me. My Money Diary, I'm not familiar with them. I am going to um, subscribe to them and support them this week. Save with T. Also, I believe I am subscribed to Save with T. I'm not sure. I'm going to put a question mark by that. Um, put a circle by <laughs> My Money Diary um, because I have not subscribed yet. I'm going to check Save with T. I think I am. So I think I've been watching a few of her videos. But if I am not, 
that I'm definitely going to subscribe to her channel uh, this week. And then is it Sta or Sta Coleman? Um, I, I don't know. I'm Like this right here is throwing me off. So I'm not sure. And I'm sorry if I offend you, but I'm, I'm going to watch your video. And then I'm going to make sure that I am pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but yeah, so that's what that's who we're supporting and um, budgeting community link BCL is all about a movement a a place where we can um, support each other budgeting with April created this um, community for us to get to know each other and to support each other either we are just getting started or we are almost at the um, 1000 subscriber mark where we need some watch hours according to youtube so we are supporting each other we're watching videos we are commenting we're subscribing we're doing all the things right so yeah that's who we are going to be supporting this week so you guys if you haven't checked them out please check them out okay we are going in july is like almost over next week my son will be he will be going, I think this is where I am, yeah. He will be going back to school next week. Yay. Yay me. I feel like it's kind of almost Christmas for me. <laughs> it's kind of almost Christmas for me. I'm really, I'm, I'm ready for these kids to go back to school. Um, working from home, working from home, I've learned, like I was working from home before uh, pandemic and all the issues that we were having these past few years, right? And so I was working from home, fine, no problem. When those kiddos started being um, virtually schooled and all that stuff, and I tell you that that just took me for a loop. I'm telling you. Uh, so yeah, I love my kiddos. They're great, awesome, and amazing. Um, it's just every day, all day, has been a bit much. Um, Caleb's been in summer summer camp. And he's liked, he's enjoyed it. This month, he started swim classes. Y'all, I think I'm going to say this like, and I'm, I'm secretly saying this. He's upstairs swimming his VR right now. But I think my kid, number one, let me explain Caleb, right? Caleb is not uh, a sports athletic kid. Like, it, it, you know, if he, <laughs> I tell him all the time, you're athletic in your brain. Like, he's he's really smart. He's really intellectual. He's very literal. Um, he loves historical facts. He loves ancient facts. He's like that kind of kid. He loves to go outside, but when he goes outside to play, he's like learning about the different types of ants. Like, he, he was on his thing, this kick with ants. Like, he would tell me all the different types of ants and what they did and all like so that's the kind of kid i have right love him to pieces so <laughs> he's not that like great with physical uh athletics but swimming guys right swimming i'm thinking it might be his sport i don't want to jinx it right i don't want to jinx it but he loves his swim classes um and he wants me to enroll him in the next level so y'all fingers crossed prayers hopefully this will be a, a way for him to uh really get you know active in a sense he's he's very tall um for his age he'll be he'll be his birthday is coming up um later in the year uh and so yeah he's he's my my tall um son however he's not the typical just because he's tall, he's not really that, you know, he doesn't, he's not, he's not interested in a whole lot of sports. I mean, he did golf um, for a bit. I think it was first and second grade, he did golf, right? But we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's go into this um, budget with me. Um, my daughters are doing well. They are working and um, they have their own budget set up. Let me show you guys. Um, what workbook I have. I have the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom. If you are new, I like this workbook. Um, but the only thing I was thinking, I don't know, cause this is my first time using this workbook. I noticed that in August, I don't have that many of the, um, paycheck budget tracker sheets. I only have like two in August. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I, what I did was I took August and made some copies, some copies. So when we get to August, um, the sheets may not be here in the workbook. Okay. 
I am going to zoom in so you guys can see. All right, so another um, tidbit about um, my paycheck and what I'm doing. Since we are budgeting for the house, I really took, I'm taking a greater chunk from my paycheck to go towards savings for the house. I um, really want to buckle down on getting that savings account really really like a whole like a chunk a huge chunk so a couple of things also about my paycheck for you new viewers um you want to receive my tithe and giving you won't see how much i actually have for my down payment for my home and you will not that's three <laughs> you will not um see my house obligations we live with my sister so we um so i take care of some of the house bills so yeah that's just you know what i want to keep private not a big deal but you will see when i get ready to do um the house category cash stuffings my house categories cash stuffings um would be certain rooms in the new house that i want to go ahead and put money um save some money for for any decorations and things that we might need furniture things like that i want to go down and start saving up for that sorry guys my arm was oh it felt like something had bit me or something i don't know i don't know anyway um yeah so you'll see that and then i have a utilities envelope in that house category um binder that you'll see me stuff um hopefully every month um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I am budgeting out, um, after those three categories are, have been deducted. I'm looking at $1,380, $1,380. That's after my tithe offering, my, um, house savings and my current house obligations. Okay. So BCBS, that's my health insurance budgeting out for, um, $106 truck insurance is 77 um christmas gift is i'm gonna pull out 25 dollars. that is something that i am planning to do for um a friend of mine i want to gift that person with a wonderful christmas gift so i didn't want to put it in my christmas budget but um that's like over here so that's just something special and, and separate that i wanted to do i'm taking out 200 dollars for uh capital one um bill that's coming up so we're going to add these together. Normally I have it already down, but I didn't get a chance to do that. I'm, I guess I'm making up for, oh, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I am calculating um, all of these categories. So that gives me 408. Yeah, I think I'm making up for lost time. So I, I guess I'll go ahead on and do this, guys. You, you'll see me do this. So I am deducting my total bill amount 408 from my budget amount 1380 and I'm going to fill this in 1380 sorry I am turning the notebook That leaves me with 972 we're going to bring that 972 yikes We're going to bring that 972 on down and then we're gonna add in my variable expenses. Gas will be 200, food is 200, household items 40, holiday food five, food in the account. That is a bank account separate that I used to use during the you know, crazy few years that we've been having. I would, um, and I still do order my groceries online, um, but that I had a separate, my food account or my food category had a separate bank bank card so i would use that um to purchase our house stuff i still have that account so right now i just keep like five dollars i just place five dollars in every income so five dollars goes there ten dollars is going to go to lauren and uh ten for lauren and jordan savings those are my two oldest daughters they currently have jobs um i guess i'll go back right here um, they currently have jobs, so they are budgeting and they're doing a great job. But and they have a separate savings account in the bank that they put monies in. But this is like, I guess this will be like their cushion um, that I'm pulling out cash. And they don't really know anything about it, but they have. Um, I'm just pulling some monies out, um, and I'm just stashing it. I'm stashing it in a separate envelope for them. And you'll see that when I get ready to do the cash stuffings um, video. But yeah, they're getting $10 each. Caleb haircut slash um, an additional savings 
is getting fifty dollars um his chores is thirty dollars and then drive through is 25 y'all i've been doing excellent you guys will be so super duper proud of me because we have been cooking lately and you know what it has been great jordan last week she's this week she's with her dad but she cooked um she did chicken wings and she did this um she actually separated because lauren's a picky eater my oldest so she did um regular baked chicken wings for 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 um lauren without like the barbecue sauce and then she came up with this she did her own homemade barbecue sauce glaze for the other pan of chicken it was like amazing 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 and i think what was her sides mm, i think she maybe did corn green beans i can't remember and then she sent me a video today guys uh not today but i think it was just it was saturday saturday she um went over to her dad's and she did some baked spaghetti y'all it, it looks so good i'm so proud of my baby she is the cook but we have been cooking here lately i'm gonna be adding this number up um actually these variables up as i talk but yeah um she's been doing that and we've been cooking more not that much driving through uh, so that's 575. I was talking to Lauren. Oops. I was talking to Lauren uh, today. That's 757. I'm going to do it real quick because I, I was talking. Um, let's do that again. Make sure that's right. 200, 200, 40, 5, and a 5, 10, and another 10, 50. That's not right. What is it doing? That's crazy. Oh, that might have been right. 200 plus 200. 40 plus 5, 5. These buttons are really hard to press, so I'm not trying to kill my <laughs> my calculator. But it, it is really hard to press, so I have to, like, really press down. And 25. Oh, that's right. 575. Oh, and I need to zoom out because I don't think you guys can see. There we go. 575. I was talking to Lauren today. We were going over her her money in her account. So we're gonna deduct, I'm just gonna do it this way. Deduct uh, 972 from that 575, it leaves us with 397. And Lauren is my daughter who does the cashless budget. So she budgets digitally. And I had to kind of, you know, I talked to her and I said, listen, you're swiping. You're swiping a lot. <laughs> Almost, I should have told her, swipe or no swiping. If you guys remember that, right, uh, Dora. I don't even know if a swiper is up there anymore or if Dora, if they even play Dora anymore on um, uh, on the TV. But yeah, I told her, I said, listen, you, you're swiping too much, honey. Uh, and so I set her up on where um, the week she gets paid, right? The week she gets paid, she's going to show me her budget, right? And then every week she's going to do what um, Miko says over here. And I flip back to it, y'all. I know I'm, I'm I'm all over the place today, but what is that? Um, where is it? It's one of these pages. I rewrite and redo. Yeah, where did my money go? So every week she's going to um, really do like a transaction checklist for me. She's going to um, do a where did my money go for the week. She's going to really go over with me what she spent her money on um and she does great with her budget but i think in the whole transferring from the cash app to the checking account all of that it seems like a lot and i'm like girl you, you're doing too much honey hold on slow down slow down get your get yourself together because i don't want her to develop a habit of um spending all almost all my money and then waiting waiting to the next paycheck. You notice that that living from paycheck to paycheck thing that I do not want any of my children to experience. Um, it's so much out there now, too much, you know, so much technology and ways to save way, you know, way more advanced than where I was. My parents was just like, get a checking account, get a saving account and go to work, you know. But breaking everything down like this, I was not taught that. So I wanted to make sure that she understood the importance of making a budget having a budget even if you're swiping your card right even if you're swiping your card you still want to set that budget and then know 
what it is that you did with your money. Like every dollar, every penny ha has a place. Um, so yeah, kids clothes is only getting five. And I tell you guys this, um, and I say it because there may be some new viewers, right? Some new watchers. Um, the girls pretty much with my approval, I check to make sure that they, their clothes are appropriate for their age. Um, they're buying their own clothes now and actually saving up for some shoes that they want. So the $5 in this account um, or in this envelope is not that much. Um, I did a big, uh, shopping for Caleb with uh, shorts and t-shirts and everything. The only thing I think I need to get him before he starts school is, and that's probably going to be this week or this weekend. That is a sneakers. He's got a blue pair, but I want him to have like a black pair, you know, cause blue doesn't really go with everything. So, um, and that'll be probably like cash flow and that'll be fine. But yeah, we're going to put $5 in the clothes after school. Since school is starting, I'm going to put $5 back in that, start building that back up. Christmas is getting a hundred. Um, truck care is $20. I've saved up and you guys, I, everything turned out great. I took my truck. I don't know if you know this or remember I was saving up for my oil change and then to get some work done and, um, got the oil change and the, the maintenance on the truck did not cost as much as what I, what it thought it, what <laughs> It didn't cost as much as what I thought, so I had some extra money. However, Lauren's car had some issues with the tire and the cracked rim and all that stuff. So, yeah, it kind of ate, ate up a little extra. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, medical gets five. That's for any additional medical expenses um, that may happen. Uh, birthdays is five dollars. Back to school gets five. Um, vacay is a hundred. My money slash coffee is thirty. Of which, guys, I have not been to McDonald's in a while because um, I am going back to buying the McCafe in um, in the grocery stores and just making my own coffee. I got my own little add-ins that I'd use. Well, they actually use. So I, I bought that from the store too. I'm just gonna see, and I probably treat myself on the weekend if i want to so yeah just want to give y'all an update about that and then 25 dollars and miscellaneous so we've got five and five 120 i apologize guys because this i gotta do it again i was talking um this video is probably a lot longer than normal that's because i missed y'all i think that was three we're going to do it again at the end. 30 and 25. 300. We'll see. And I think that's right. Uh, Yeah. So I um 20 and then three fives. One, two, three. I could have did 15. I know. But I like to go row by row. 300. That's right. So I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm writing. I don't know if y'all can see that. It doesn't look like y'all can see it. Is that better? All right. So then we minus that from the three ninety-seven. I know it's going to give me ninety-seven dollars left. We're going to bring that down to my student loan. That is the only loan that I have, and we are not really going to talk about. <laughs> We are not going to really talk about student loans. I don't know what Uncle Sam or Big Brother and all those people up there are going to be doing. So guess what? If I use it, I need to use it. If I don't need to use it, then I don't need to use it. It'll go towards the house because that is my main goal right now. I did get an email. Um, so I've got to check into seeing what that's all about. I'll probably do that this week. So we shall see, guys. We shall see. So I don't know if you saw what I did while I was talking. $97, I brought that down, subtracted this $63 from my uh, student loan, left me with $34. $34 is going to go into my emergency fund and a smiley face for the house. And that is my zero-based budget, guys. So, yeah, hopefully I will be getting paid and it will come through the account in the next couple of days. And we shall see how much I actually will get. Um, if we get any extra, we'll see what we go, we'll do with that money. Um, I don't really know right now. I don't really know what I want to do with any extra money, but we will do the actual category once I get my paycheck. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to check out the new 
YouTube subscribe um, YouTube channels that we talked about earlier. Um, I know that I'm definitely going to do that. Um, I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for taking out the time to watch this video. If you like um, this video, check out my other videos. Please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification button, so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Comment, give me a thumbs up. I do re reply and respond to all comments. And I think that's it, guys. Until I talk to you all again, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.